How you doing guys? Welcome back to another video. So, so apologies for um, it's been so long since I've uploaded, but you know, it's the summer. I don't want to spend all my summer in a garage wrenching. So, plus we've not had not to do with the car. It's almost, almost finished. Let me say that, it's got, it's got a lot of little bits, but uh, all the main stuff's almost done. Right, today anyway, today the car will be going down to a tune-in shop, like a, basically just build race cars, Pro 4M down in Plymouth. And uh, they're going to put a base map on the car, finishing up a little bit of intercooler piping, doing like some TIG welding and all that, putting some um, wide band sensors and stuff like that. That helps, obviously, you know, the ECU you know what's what and all that. And, um, and the car should get started. So, we're going up to uh, the garage now, pick the car up. Obviously, I'm not picking it up, meeting a recovery, gar recovery lorry up there. And then bring a car down there. And uh, I'll try and get some footage and stuff. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing this. I can't do everything myself, so it's going to be an outsourced company to do it all. So uh, let's get up there and uh, see what's going on. Okay guys, this is the next day anyway, obviously he's done a bit of work on it. I've, I just dropped it off, went to work, he carried on, sorry about the fingers. But yeah, he's done all the intercooler piping, looks mint, look, as you can see. It's a bit thicker than the intercooler piping that's done before. Sorted out the fuel rail, he's plugged a bit, couple holes that I left on the intake because I'm an amateur. And obviously he's put the base map on the EC, which is the main thing, so. Right, I didn't record a lot when it was at the garage at the uh, fabrication place, because uh, I just dropped the car off basically. He done all the work, put the base map on. It didn't go to plan. Um, the ECU wasn't getting sufficient power, so he had to bench base map it. So he put the base map on the ECU, but when you plug it into the car, it doesn't technically work properly. So we need to sort out some kind of a power problem go into the ECU. But Alan's on that because he's the electric guy with, ECU, uh, with car stuff, and I don't like anything to do with electrics. But I will go run through what he's done when we get up to the garage. Uh, the fabrication stuff all on the intercooler paper that he did is brilliant, so that's good. And he tidied up a few things on the intake uh, manifold that I fitted. The eBay classic, the Greddy Freddy. But um, the panels are finally ready. The rest of them, the front quarters, the side skirts, the front bumper, um, and the boot and the spoiler, I believe. So I'm going to open grab them now and bring you guys along. And then we can put it all on the car. Maybe not in this video, we'll see. See how long it is at the minute, but uh, the car will look like a car shaped car, so that's good, isn't it? We'll get up the garage and let's have a look. Okay, guys, as you can see, we have <laughs> Skyline in the uh, AMG removals van. We have all the um, with both side no, one side skirt and two front quarters in there at the minute. We still got the um, front bumper and the other side skirt to pick up today, and he's got the boot and the spoiler in the paint booth now so that'll be done in a couple of days so we can go back to the garage smash all this on and if you're wondering why um you know ryan why are you why are you fitting this body kit yourself with the party panels because it took him three and a half years maybe over four years whatever to paint this so if i asked him to put him to, on the car we could be waiting another couple of years so i'll do it myself because i'm a master body guy right let's get to the garage anyway hopefully you don't scratch any of these parts driving over there i'll drive nice and slow for a change Just 
mastered the uh, front wings on. They line up pretty well. We test fit them before we uh, painted them anyway. But uh, yeah, I need to pop the side skirt, so I'm gonna get back. I'm just gonna grab the other panels now. We've got the front bumper and the other side skirt and then get back here. Bit of a squeeze of the front bumper in here and the side skirt, but we got it in. <laughs> got to peel this off yet. This is uh, my carbon fiber air intake. You haven't seen them, I don't think, yet, but we'll get it off at the garage. Okay, I am super chuffed how the car's coming along anyway. It looks like a car now. We've got front wings, we've got front bumper, got the bonnet on, got sides, got one side skirt. Basically, I've got some clips from the body shop that uh, and uh, I've got two different ones. I've got some yellow ones and some white ones. The white ones are perfect, they fit bang on. I popped it in. I may have cracked the side skirt a little bit on one side. I'll show you later on when I walk around in the next video or something. And the yellow, basically, I've only got a few yellow tabs left and there. Uh, they're a bit too big so I can't fit the other side cut yet so I'll get some different clips from them or order some myself whatever but uh, yeah the car looks mint I love it and uh, I'll link in the description all the body panels that I've got on there because 
they're basically it's a GTR replica front bumper with carbon fibre air duct things. I'll link them as well in the description down below. And the front and the wings as well, they're 20 now, I believe, wider than the stock GTST. So that's why it looks more GTR y. It'll look wider from the front and at the back now, really rear quarter. So it's looking mint. But um, yeah, a few more bits to do with body work. We've still got the bumper and uh, the rear boot and the rear boot, obviously, the rear boot and the spoiler to fit but that's uh, a couple of days time like and subscribe to the channel though guys let me know what you think of the car so far i think it looks awesome i'm chuffed but i'll um, i'll catch you in the next one take it easy i don't know where i am i don't know where you take me i don't know where you take me i just follow your trail and i'm losing